What's up, internet? Kakatapos lang ng first ever experience ko sa Computex. And I was there because ASUS sent me over. So how it worked was, ASUS was like, Hey, do you want to go over to Computex? Basically, sponsored namin lahat. And of course, that's a great opportunity. Pero kinabahan ako when I said yes. Because number one, may prior trip na ako scheduled right in the middle of Computex. Yung Computex, June 4 to 7. And then I already had a previously scheduled family trip. June 6 to 16. Kaya yung kita ninyo na background, <laughs> hindi yan Manila. I'm shooting this from very cold Australia. And pangalawa, no strings attached naman yung kay Asus. But of course, I was expected to come up with content. Walang problema yung content, yung problema yung number of views. Nahiya ako when it comes to those kind of expectations because I know that I'm very proud of the channel, I'm very proud of our audience. But in terms of media impact, yung tipong, uy, may bagong device. That's easy for some influencers, but not for us. Una, because I don't really consider, you know, Hardware Sugar as an influencer. Mas educator kami, yung tipong, the basics about computers, what you need to know to get started in the hobby. So how do AIOs work? Tatapat mo yung CPU block. Ito, tatapat mo dito or didikit mo dito sa CPU. So my apprehensions were basically the same thing. That I couldn't provide value for money for the sponsor. Kasi nga, mapuputol yung trip right in the middle. I could only attend one and a half days of Computex. Basically June 4, June 5. Alis na ako ng evening ng June 5. But I'm very glad that ASUS decided to roll the dice on me. It was a great trip and what an experience. So. These are sort of my behind the scene impressions of Computex. Yung bago ako na Computex, inisip ko na yung Computex yung big event. Doon pumupunta lahat, doon nagde-display lahat. But that's actually only half the story. So the brands try to compete with themselves who will make the biggest splash at Computex. Sino yung may pinaka, you know, who will generate the most buzz, who will drop the biggest bombshell product launches and things like that. So you're trying to one-up each other in terms of impact and also in terms of time na maunahan mo yung ibang brands to come out with what you want to say. So there is a lot of running around between the different press events outside of Computex proper. So there's sort of like a mini Game of Thrones kind of like scheduling and press release. You know, talagang super effort yan. The media involved, the brands involved, which is because of Computex since everybody is there, but it doesn't happen at Computex. There are even some vendors, for example, like NZXT and Corsair, na hindi nga sila display at Computex. They get a hotel and then display their booth is there at their off-site location. So I was at two of those press events. The first one was the ROG event, which was at ASUS headquarters, covered their peripheral, so yung Azoth Extreme and yung Harpy Ace Extreme. Both of them, you've seen them in my coverage already, but both of them basically lightweight because of the carbon fiber used. Yung Harpy Ace, which is my main mouse now, yung Harpy Ace Aim Lab Edition, yung wireless. I really like it. Battery life is excellent, very light already. And the only thing I don't like about it is that it is very boring to look at. But yung comfort in the hand, yung performance niya, no problems. So they kept the shape. The shape of that mouse, they designed it in conjunction with eSports. So, you know, talagang players that have hours and hours of play time to come up with a comfortable hand grip. They didn't want to change the hand grip. That's why they didn't want to put holes in the mouse. Yung current meta design or yung uso sa mga mouse ngayon is to have a honeycomb design that does reduce the weight but that introduces dirt and grime. Mas madaling pumasok inside the interior of the mouse. Asus is like, we don't want to do that. We don't want to punch holes into our mouse but we want to make it even lighter. Hence the carbon fiber. The feel of the mouse, there's a texture to it that is quite unique. Tapos yung Adolf Extreme, most of you know that I'm not a keyboard guy. I know very little about the space. But what I did appreciate about it was that the mga features that enthusiasts look for, they're bringing it more to the mainstream. In particular, may parang gasket switch sila sa ilalim ng keyboard where you can change on the fly the springiness of the keys. So whether if you want a more 
hard typing experience or a softer typing experience. And of course, enthusiasts can do that now, depending on the switches they use in their keyboards you know, and the, the lube and everything. But what's exciting about the Azoth Extreme is that for a more mainstream audience that doesn't have the knowledge or doesn't have the time, madali na lang to set your keyboard to how you want to use it. Of course, also mentioned at the ROG event was the ROG Ally X, so yung refresh nila of the ROG Ally. A lot of stuff has been tinkered around with, so you get better cooling, double the battery life, larger storage, and easier to replace storage if you want even more storage, improved control, so a lot of things in the refresh. And I've spoken on the channel before how I'm a bit skeptical about this whole mobile gaming approach, so inuso ni Steam Deck. And then other brands have followed with their own versions. I wasn't a fan, but I got to try it out for the first time because of Computex, and I'm starting to see the appeal. I have footage of playing Ghost Runner, na nagkataon I was playing a lot of right before Computex. So sanay na sanay ako sa desktop version niya. And when I was playing it at Computex on the ROG Ally, it was it, the experience was pretty good, like very seamless. Yung graphics, the screen was a lot better than I was expecting. Plus, with the ROG event, yung nga, mas konti yung mga tao, we got to play around with the devices more. So Computex kasi, kailangan magaling ka mag-box out. You know, there are so many people trying to get into the devices. They're trying to experience it also. So, kailangan mabilis ka. But on the headquarters, ganda nung headquarters, you have a Pegasus image on the floor when you come in. Because Asus is from Pegasus, they have a little museum. So, they have different... Notable items from the old product lines of Asus. And it was trippy for me to see some items that I had bought on display there. As well as some of the newer items that we have come to know from Asus. Tapos the next day, Asus press event for more general mainstream media. And this one was full court press na tech event. So the stage was much larger. There were a lot more people. There was a full LCD screen uh, wrapped around in front of us and then LCD screens on the side. And I, I didn't quite get footage of it, but right after the event, tumaas yung mga LCD screens to reveal the products, the laptops that they had just talked about in the presentation. So that was a bit of showmanship. Na, I was like, wow, okay, that, that's pretty impressive. And the emphasis was on laptops or you know mobile devices such as the PZ13. So that's an upcoming tablet where basically you can do anything. It's very rugged, so it's waterproof and it's resistant and it's uh, dustproof and things like that. But it's for the creative on the go that needs the power, let's say, to edit or to create graphics in the field or when you're away from your desktop, but you don't want a detracted or a reduced experience. So basically, the PC-13 is an answer to Apple's tablets, which... I am not an Apple fan, but the performance on those tablets is pretty impressive. So the PC-13 is an answer to that. I got to play around with it. It is impressive. Yung ayoko lang sa kanya, it will not be sold in the Philippines. So all of that, and we're not even at Computex proper. So we arrived several days before Computex. The second day, we were there, ROG event. The third day, the ASUS press event. And then finally, June 4, Computex. Actually, Computex is what you would imagine. So, it's a trade show, there are the booths, but the scale. Yung karaniwan natin na inisip for frame of reference is the SMX at MOA. And when I was there for events like ESGS, parang ang laki na niya. But when you get to the scale of Computex, where it's two floors and each floor is maybe four times the size of the SMX floor, I mean, very roughly, para pa sa sobrang laki niya, ang dami, ang dami mga brands. It being my first time, I didn't know where to look, and <laughs> and to be honest, I found it a little hard to focus on the sponsors' products. I mean, I was there at the ROG and the Asus booth, and I, the, you know, the problem with me is, you know, I'm not a very good choice for these kind of things. Because, like I said earlier in the video, that I get hyped up, but I don't usually get hyped up at the same level uh, as other people. Kung iba yung pinadala nila sa Computex, they might have gotten more value for money kasi mas magaling siya mag-hype ng mga products, which, which is not my skill set. But I like exploring, I like wandering around, and you know, you can wander around a lot at Computex. Again, baka hindi bagay to get sent to Computex. Nobody's gonna send me to Computex anymore on their own dime after this video. But it was a great experience, and super thanks to ASUS 
for that experience. I really enjoyed the events, the ROG event, the ASUS event, Computex, but also having the opportunity to sit down and just talk shop with various people. You know, I've, most of the people I saw on the trip, I've already interacted with in some capacity before. But ito talaga yung, you know, magkasama kayo sa trip and you can sit down and you can share war story about the local scene with people in the know. I, I found that as equally fascinating, if not more fascinating than the actual products. Kasi, syempre, chismis yan eh. Um, and aside from that, just yun nga, in general trends and like, What's the best way to market products to people? Not market in the sense na, oh, ito, kahit anong budget mo, ito, bilhin mo. But how to find people that can appreciate your product because they really meet the use case. Ano yung kailangan ng tao? That's really what you want to show to the customer because that's the one that will be most useful to the customer. And I know ASO sent me over but I don't think it would be egregious to point out that that is also their design philosophy. They don't start out with hardware. Hindi siya parang technical abstract exercise. The way they start their design is what do people need? What use cases can we meet? And then from there, they evolve the hardware. They determine what hardware they can put into what format to meet the needs of the customer. So parang mas organic yung approach to hardware design. So my trip in Taiwan was up to June 5 in the night. Pero sa totoo lang, I only spent one day at Computex June 4. Kasi the next day, June 5, I just spent the entire day at the hotel starting to edit my videos, organize the content I had already gotten. Ganun ka... <laughs> I'm that bad at attending Computex. Yung nga, first time ko, I, I needed the time to get everything ready. Kasi alam ko, alis kami night June 5 and then June 6, Gabi din, alis ako for my family trip. So not a lot of time to get everything out. And there was a bunch of stuff I wanted to say about Computex. Pero nga, sobrang saya nung experience. Super thankful to ASUS for sending me over. Um, I'm thinking about how I'll get to Computex again next year because I found it such an enriching experience. Even if you're someone na hindi na hype up sa mga ganyan. But just the overall event, the people you get to talk to, and of course the products that you get to see. Masaya siya.